Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, December 16th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Tuesday, December 22nd, just before Christmas and a day after winter begins and when we have the closest uh, conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in the southwestern sky. Go check out the skies over Colorado for information on that and it's like the newspapers are carrying that too but we have uh, the first quarter moon in the evening sky so it's gonna make it very pretty uh, whatever snow we get. Looking at drought, well we still have that. Uh, looking at last week's we have still severe drought around Longmont area and north of Denver, Long I-25. Going to this week, it's a little worse south of Denver, a little worse in the southern part of the state. So we just need a big shift and a fetch of moisture coming in, some regular storms. The entire west does from California all the way to the northern plains down to west Texas, but quite dry. We did get some uh, snow on Monday, so we have less than an inch around Longmont of new snow. Uh, we haven't gotten rid of the old snow, so it's starting to pile up a little bit around Boulder, more like an inch in most locations. It wasn't a big storm, but we'll take anything we can get. Looking at the actual amount of precipitation, the liquid equivalent, it was about a half inch an inch in places in the mountains. Great news up there. Out in the plains, just a tiny amount. Alright, so our next storm is coming in on Friday. Not much of a storm, but there's this trough pushing down into the west and we'll be living with northwest flow. Again, we're getting the storms now, but we just don't have that moisture source. Uh, looking at the GFS Ensemble, notice our Normal high temperature 42 and a normal low temperature of 17 have flattened. They are not dropping. So that's kind of nice. And through this time, we are bouncing up and down inside that range for the most part. We start out with a lab normally cool. Right before Christmas, we get a touch above normal. We're back in the cold side of normal uh, right around Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. For Friday, the models are in agreement that uh, the model runs are in agreement that we have a period of precipitation coming in. And our Christmas Eve system, some of them even uh, trailing into Christmas morning, is looking a little better. More model runs have something happen than not. So this could be, uh, depending on your definition of a white Christmas, a uh, white Christmas. Is it white snow on the ground or is it snow falling? Uh, on Christmas morning. I grew up in Phoenix, so if I see anything that looks remotely like snow, I can count that as a white Christmas. So let's put this in motion. Before we get to Friday, we're kind of warm with that ridge passing. By the end of the week, here comes that trough digging down in, and that's replaced by a bit of a ridge again. Going into the weekend, by the beginning of the week, pretty strong ridge over the state, center down here south of us. So we are warm, even with northwest flow. That's what's keeping us in the uh, normal range. Here comes our Christmas Eve system digging down in the west. You can see Christmas Eve and Christmas Day are pretty coffee. There's a low passing on Christmas Day itself. But the initial system will probably push the moisture out. Take a look at falling snow and rain. So going from Thursday noon into Friday, it's not much. It's mainly in the mountains western slopes. And we go into Saturday, now Sunday, it's a little bit of stuff up in the mountains. Our system is coming into the Pacific Northwest by Monday, Tuesday, you can see it getting its act together up there. And by Wednesday to Thursday, we're getting Christmas Eve now. There's that little system coming down. How much there is Christmas Day at second Low is passing and there's just no moisture for it to work with. So that's the solution. We need some atmospheric humidity. For the next 10 days, taking us up to noon time on Christmas, we have snow up to a foot in places in the northern mountains. Some of the favored 
uh, faces of mountain ranges are getting some five, six, eight inches of snow. Out on the plains, it's really white and spotty. It looks like Boulder maybe gets a, an inch between now and then. Like the, the amount of precipitation is really, really light. You get on significant waters, again, up in the mountains in the northern mountains. So over the next seven days, we bounce around a lot, 40s, 30s, up to 50s. We have that little period of snow on Friday. I might even bump up that chance of precipitation higher than that. For frequent weather updates and local news, check out Longmont Leader, longmontleader.com. I've been Chief Meteorologist John Asworth. Keep looking up.